I'm a firm believer that everybody should lift weights. Not just do something active every day, like take a walk or find some physical activity you like. No, everyone needs to lift some damn weight because it'll change your life. And that's why I never understood when people question pushing sets to failure because how else can you ensure you're not half-assing those sets? I think it's critical to face failure on a daily basis because it disarms it. Think back before I had this YouTube channel, before anyone knew who the fuck I was. And I think about that person and that person's energy towards the gym, it fires me up. And that's the person that ultimately motivates me to want to do YouTube as well, because I do get this existential dread all the time. I do feel horrible a lot. I kind of got into training a little bit more unconventionally because I grew up with a lot of gangsters. And back in those days, we would just hang out at people's garages and there's always weight sets. I realized my physical traits didn't represent how big I was on the inside. So like a lot of people that first started lifting, I was curling and benching every single day, six days a week, seven days a week, smoke a cigarette, do a couple curls, smoke some weed, do some bench, drop some E, pose in the mirror. And that was pretty much my training split. I pulled 461 because I dropped it, I got disallowed the lift. Right. And um, that's what made me sort of go on and do this deadlift in front of Arnold. I wanted to do something even more extraordinary. I want to be the first man to pull half a ton, the first man to pull 1,100 pounds off the floor. I was able to create a scenario in my head. I was lifting a car off of my kids. You know, I had blood coming out my tear ducts. I had blood coming out my ears. Beats per minute was over 200. And I'm in and out of consciousness, so I'm convulsing. You can't get a heart reading, there's something wrong. The blood pressure machine wouldn't even take a reading. And I forgot how to drive my car. Here you go. Oh. His eyes look sad. You're actually hurting yourself by eating fruit, okay? <laughs> So, you want to be a bodybuilder? Okay. And you would want to compete the record with as much force as you possibly could that would break. That would break fucking speed. That, that, that feeling like you have to fucking do it. Squeeze it. There's got to be something deep down that's keeping me going that I probably don't even know what it is. And I think passion is something that you can't actually describe. Come on, squeeze it all! Anybody want to be a bodybuilder? But don't nobody want to lift no nitty ass weight. I'm just doing this for the food ministry.